Let me show you what to do if you have forgotten your PIN, pattern and password on your Google Pixel 10 and you can't get access to the phone anymore. Uh, so the only thing we can actually do on this phone is to do a hard reset, which essentially will also wipe everything from the uh, phone. Also, this will delete all the pictures, videos you have on your phone again. So again, there is no way how to access this stuff uh, without knowing this stuff. Uh, so the way we do it, we first have to force the start this phone uh, by pressing the uh, power button and the volume up. Then basically once it shuts down, we are going to jump to holding the power and the volume down. Okay, so let's do it. Power and volume up. Simply literally keep holding it. Maybe it takes like 10 seconds to shut off. And once it shuts down, we are going to jump to holding the volume down and the power. Okay, you see, I'm now holding the power and volume down. This usually takes maybe like 10 to 20 seconds, so let's see how long it takes. So simply keep holding it like this and don't release it. Okay. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, so we got in this menu. Next we are going to use these uh, volume buttons to cycle to this recovery mode. Then select with the power. Okay. Let it reboot. And next we have to uh, press and hold the power and the volume up. So hold and click. And we have this menu over here. Next we are going to, uh, using the volume buttons, go here to the wipe date factory set and select with the power. Again, cycle down with the volume buttons to factory data set and confirm basically with this uh, so the power button. So I won't do that at the moment as I have no need. So if you want to back it out, back, yeah, you can also do it. Also, what you have to realize is uh, basically once basically the setup screen actually uh, comes up, it will also ask you to log in to your old like Google account that you had on this phone. So perhaps if you actually do not remember the Google account and the password you actually had on this phone, do not do this step as you have a chance of actually breaking this phone. So again, this is only for security reasons. Some in case someone steals your phone and yeah, basically tries to do it. So again, you have to actually know your Google account login details to be able to get access to this phone after you do this process. Anyway, good luck.